Hello everyone and thank you for logging in to this video blog. Uh, today I will be discussing Presbyterians and abolitionism. So there was a variety of approaches to abolitionism, but what is important to remember is that 19th century evangelicals were committed to social reform. The most famous of these reforms were the reform dealing with emancipation or abolition. The growth of slavery concerned evangelicals from the early years of the Republic, and this led to the formation of the American Anti-Slavery Society and the American Colonization Society. Now, Harriet Beecher Stowe, as we know, an evangelical, wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin, and, you know, this book arguably uh, sent the country to war. Now, uh, the role of evangelicals was significant uh, during this time period, and, and it is my attempt to focus on Presbyterians. Now, historian Ben Wright has examined the link between Christianity and abolitionism. He argued that religion structured the possibilities and limitations of American abolitionism. 19th century evangelicalism established the ideological possibilities for abolitionism. Americans of the 19th century fretted over the spiritual welfare of this nation, and, more, and morality was a very big issue to them thanks to the hard work of the 19th century reform movements that preached and emphasized the importance of faith and morality and following the principles of Christianity um, in a deeply committed way, not only from the heart and in a relationship with God, but also in a way that was conducing, conducive uh, to the well-being of society, of our communities. Now, uh, Wright in 1983 claims that claimed that there were numbers of white Christians in the late 18th century who believed that unless the nation purified itself from slavery, it would never fulfill its religious destiny. Now, following on this trajectory, James H. Moorhead in 2018 argued that the Presbyterian Church of America took a strong stand against slavery uh, from the early 19th century when the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church issued a statement calling slavery, and I quote, utterly inconsistent with the law of God. Furthermore, Joel Illiff, in an article published in the Journal of the Civil War, claimed that Presbyterian leaders strategically associated themselves with the conservative German religious thinkers that Southern slaveholders admired, and uh, therefore, uh, what they wanted to do was to craft an enduring uh, intellectual and theological tradition that linked religious orthodoxy with racial equality. One of these Presbyterian ministers was W.C. Pennington. James's, uh, James Pennington's uh, life was remarkable. He escaped from slavery, and seven years later, he was accepted as the first black student at Yale Divinity School. Sadly, as he was a student at uh, Yale Divinity School, he was not allowed to, to be listed as a student or borrow books from the library and was required to sit in the back row at the lectures. However, it is important to highlight how the Presbyterian Church, how the Presbyterian Church of America, and even black Presbyterian ministers uh, of the 19th century took a strong stand against slavery, not only by pursuing social activism, but also by crafting arguments that provided uh, the ideological possibilities and limitations of abolitionism. So it is important to highlight this part of the story. Thank you very much, and have a great day. God bless.